We're now in the red, which is a level four out of five. So that's been upgraded and it's been at least 10 years since they've upgraded us into this high of a risk. So it certainly is something to pay attention to because it's not often that we have this high of a risk of severe weather. The primary threat will be damaging winds. So those straight line winds that can plow down trees and power lines, but there also may be some areas of large hail and even some tornadoes that could form. But even the straight line winds can cause the same kind of damage as a tornado. So you can see we're under the threat zone here for the afternoon and the evening. I'm watching the radar and satellite closely. Things look quiet here across the Baltimore area. The problem is I'm starting to see the clouds thin out even as you go out now that sun is shining a lot brighter. So we have all the ingredients in place to get severe weather. And now the sun is going to be that final spark that can help create some stronger storms. We're warming up now through the 80s. We've just hit 86 now in Westminster. You can tell where the sun is warming things up quickly and we should head close to 90 this afternoon, uh, especially watching the late afternoon and evening. So after about three o'clock, I've marked those hours with that weather red alert icon just to let you know those are the hours where storms may be severe and there's that potential at least through about 9 and 10 o'clock and then as we get past sunset the atmosphere kind of dwindles down and any showers and storms should be weaker and taper off through about midnight. So looking at on the future radar we're pretty good through the afternoon at least through about 2 o'clock. So if you have to get things done outdoors I would try to get it done before 2 or 3 because after that point thunderstorms could bubble up. They first start to our north and west so Frederick County and Carroll County you'll be the first to get them maybe towards 3 and 4 o'clock and they're more isolated at that point but they start to form into a more widespread line of storms deeper into the evening. So towards five, six and seven o'clock, we're getting more widespread thunderstorms and especially we're watching DC. Here's seven o'clock on the future radar. Looks like that intense line of storms could be moving through at that point. So even through eight and nine o'clock, there could still be intense storms in the Baltimore area. And then you see by nine o'clock, a lot of that has moved east out of here and then everything dwindles through about midnight tonight. So especially over the hours of about 3 p.m. and 9 p.m., I'd say paid special attention so you don't get caught outdoors in one of those storms. Also something to be mindful of, the tides are running above normal in Anne Arundel County and Hartford County, so at least through high tide tonight and early tomorrow morning, make sure you're parking carefully so you don't get caught in one of those typical flood spots. And this is from tidal flooding, not because of the rain from the thunderstorms. Late tonight, temperatures fall down into the 60s. We'll be in the 80s tomorrow. It's going to be a drier day and a little breezy, so a refreshing change after it's so steamy today and stormy. So your seven day forecast, the risk for severe storms, mainly after three this afternoon that dwindles after sunset. It's quiet for the next few days with a cooler, drier breeze. And then there could be a few more storms on Thursday, though they're not likely to be as strong.